uh, and uh, if I talk about song, yeah, it is just, you know, one who has heart and beating heart, you know, a heart which is, which has commotion for them, you know, song is medicine. Okay. So mm. I have a heart here, but a smiling heart. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, Anand. How are you? Welcome to Clapping Go. Thank you. Uh, I'm doing really good. Thank you very much for asking. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you for asking. And what happened? You're a bit late. Yes, I'm a bit late. Like, uh, I was busy. So suddenly I remember I, and I got okay. ready and I attended okay. now. I might have missed it, but fortunately I remember. Okay. Okay, fine. That's nice. All right. So how's life? How's everything? How yeah, my life is really good. I'm doing fantastic in my life. As far as the lesson is concerned, I'm doing good there as well. Okay. All right. So any questions before I begin today's session? No, I don't have questions. Okay. All right. So today's topic is if you own a hotel. If you own a hotel. If you want, you can replace hotel with something else. Let me, uh, let me put the question in a slightly different way. What are some of the things that you own now at present? Own now. So uh, I'm owner of a coaching institute, Read and Achieve Classes. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, so uh, tell me something more about the classes. Like what are some of your takeaways from those classes? Because when you are the owner of something, you have to be a role model. You have a lot of responsibilities. You will have a lot of plan and agenda. So what are, your, what are your takeaways from the ownership, from such an ownership? Yeah, I think so far, whatever growth I have done, uh, I have done with the help of my institute, okay? Like even in my personal life, I'm not talking about financial life, okay? So... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I remember when I just started and it was 2017 year. So since then, you know, I have been continuously facing challenges, how to scale up this, you know, idea to bring more students, how to teach them well to um, that they can get good results and I can have more students in my institute. Uh, I had to think about how to fight with my competitors around me who are, uh, who is running their own institute. You know, yes. personally, I had to grow in in my own, you know, teaching style, how to become better day by day. So all sorts of challenges I have faced. And I think everything made me better at my life. Okay. Okay. So challenges makes you better. That's a very good point. Um, you have taken up a lot of challenges and you have come a long way. That's what I can understand. You've come a long way. Yes. So you talked about computers, challenges and computers. From your observation, what do you think? Like, do you think people do things just for business also? Like you, you are very passionate, you are determined, you're taking up challenges. In spite of the challenges, you want to give something new and productive to your students. But do you think that there are a lot of people who just do things for business? And uh, from your observations, what do you think? It's just from your observation. Uh, listen, uh, today, you know, everything like teaching has changed into business, to be honest. And uh, everybody, not only I'm talking about those people, even I will have to think according to business mind. Otherwise, I'm going to lose the market. So if somebody wants to keep the market intact in his favor, then he will have to think according to business. So I think, yeah, but, but the uh, things are being uh, like lots of people just mar marketizing it as a business. They are not putting the thing that, that they should have given to a student. So I think, you know, uh, yeah, you are somehow right that, you know, people are making it business, but yeah. there are few people who are making it business. After all, they are trying to, you know, give everything that can shape up the life of a student, not their only subjects or marks. Okay. So adding to what you said, yes, we need to keep our business intact. And for that, we have to be business minded. But the problem arises when business uh, overloops. When, when it weighs more than your intention, passion, and objectives. 
Like for example, my objective is to teach something to my students, but if I'm having more business in mind, like with the same material, if I can teach 100 students without customizing or giving away what they need, then that is dangerous for both. Mm, right? That's what so I'm that saying. Is, you. Yeah, so that like, is when the, I'm just making it more clear. So that is when the problems arise. And as you said, yes, when you give away everything and when you do something with business mind, yes, that is where success comes. As you said, challenges also, yes, makes you better. Correct. Okay. Use these three prepositions to make three different sentences. I'm in love. Uh, okay. My coaching institute is situated at Alalpatti. Okay. And... Uh, the tip should be behind the bar. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was good. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. What can you see here? A story and song. Story, song. Do you sing? Yeah, sometimes. Yes. Okay. So you just have to tell me something about a song or a story that really inspired you, inspired you, influenced you. Maybe the lyrics, maybe the story plot, story or song, or you can even speak on both. It's up to you. Yeah, like a story has been the part of my life and it has been part of my growth because I remember the days when my grandmother, Nanima, used to tell me a single story and she used to give me three, four more or less out of single story. Okay. So, yeah, so it has been inheritance part of my life. Uh, uh, and uh, if I talk about song, yeah, it is just, you know, one who has heart and beating heart, you know, a heart which is, which has commotion for them, you know, song is medicine. Okay. Mm. So I have a heart here, but a smiling heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's a, that's a great, yeah. Those are great lines. I think it's just a coincidence. Yeah. You spoke about the heart, which beats and all that. Okay, fine. So that was good when you spoke about your grandmother narrating story every day. I think children these days miss that. Uh, even, even I had a very good rapport with my grandfather and he used to narrate a lot of stories and that still stays with me. I inherited that from my grandfather and it's really great to listen. Don't you think so? The way they narrate it, the language they use, the tone also. Yes, yes. tone, language. But you language. know, when we were child, our heart was very soft. And, uh, you know, when they used to tell us those stories, emotionally, uh, we got affected and we learned lots of things in our life. I know exactly. I couldn't realize on those, I just I, can't re I could realize the emotional part of the story. But later on, when I started growing up, I found the importance of the stories in my life. Yes. So stories and songs, they are great ways of learning a language as well. And today... Um, and Today, yeah. both the thing has been contaminated. We don't have access, the children don't have access with the stories and okay. song. You can see all the songs are trying to make you agitated, make you provoked about certain things. And provoked. that's why the human society is looking uh, in, you know, agitation ever before, yes. more than ever before. Rightly said. So song, story, I think people don't have the patience and they don't find the time also to give importance to the songs, the stories, and even the little things, to enjoy little things. Because in those days, people used to enjoy the little things, sitting under a tree on a hot afternoon and mm -hmm. uh, having some mangoes. The grandmother yes. or grandfather will uh, peel some mangoes, give it to you and start a story. Do you know something? When I was a child, it goes off like that. It takes off like that. And then a story comes out from nowhere. So connecting the situation and speaking is also a skill, I feel. People had skill, it, right? It is now we have skill. to teach. Yes, now we have to teach the children and tell them, see, now we, have, we can learn so many things from a story, even elders. So that is different. It's contaminated. Yeah, that's the right word. <laughs> okay, so we are coming to the end of the session. Do you have any questions? Anything to ask me generally or from the session? No, I really enjoy your session. That's what I, will, I would like to tell you. Thank you so much. Even I enjoy talking to you. You're very passionate and you're a sincere person. Thank you. Thank you very much. May all your dreams be fulfilled. Okay. And keep working hard because we seldom find hard working people these days. Smart work is good, but hard work is also important. Right. 
Okay. Thank you so much for joining Anand. It was nice talking to you. Have a pleasant Same evening. Same here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>